2025 CPU launches are almost here, including possibly from Nvidia, but with incredible deals on CPUs and motherboards right now. Should you wait for new products to roll out, or should you grab those deals, even if you end up waiting for new GPUs to launch in early 2025? Welcome back to PC Builder, I'm Jason. We're gonna cover all the CPU deals and the upcoming rumored CPU launches. So if you get value out of this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more cool PC content. Let's jump into it. This video is sponsored by Newegg, your one-stop shop for gamers and tech enthusiasts. Newegg has amazing deals right now, like this Ryzen 7600X CPU and one terabyte NVMe SSD combo for only $195 after promo code. Pair it with this ASRock B650M Pro RS Wi-Fi motherboard for an insane $129. And grab this Salmon New View Atrium Style ATX PC case with three included ARGB fans for just $63. Need help picking the right PC parts? Use Newegg's PC Builder tool to select compatible parts and get great deals. Don't miss out. Check out Newegg's amazing deals using the link in the video description. Let's start off with some of the really amazing gaming CPU deals out there right now. Basically, the budget segment is now dominated by Ryzen 5000 series CPUs, primarily the Ryzen 5600 and 5600X, as well as some Intel 12th gen CPUs like the i5-12400F, which you can pick up for around $100 to $120. In the mid-range, CPU prices have really collapsed over the past couple of months, and you can right now pick up a Ryzen 7600X along with a one terabyte NVMe SSD at Newegg for just 194, which if you take out the $60 price of the SSD, that makes the Ryzen 7600X a $135 CPU, which is insane. Outside of the US, you can also pick up the slightly slower, but still good Ryzen 7500F and the Ryzen 7600 has sold consistently for around $170 to $180. For those already on the AM4 AMD platform, we also have the Ryzen 5700X 3D at about $200 US as a good upgrade path. Then we have a massive gap to the high performance gaming CPUs. Earlier this year, the Ryzen 7800X 3D, it was just $340, but it's currently unavailable and has been replaced by the Ryzen 9800X 3D with its $479 MSRP. However, it's out of stock everywhere, although AMD says it should start to improve in the first quarter of 2025. But Jason, where's Intel? Well, Intel's almost completely missing in action due to degradation issues with their 13th and 14th gen Raptor Lake-based CPUs, which they have said they fixed, but I'm not ready to recommend them yet. And their new Intel Core Ultra 200 series was launched very buggy. Although Intel has acknowledged this and they say fixes are on the way. Ryzen 9000 series CPUs, except for the 9800X 3D, haven't fared much better as they're much higher prices and almost identical performance to the Ryzen 7000 series counterparts has reportedly led to very slow sales, possibly non-existent sales. For production users, it's mostly the Ryzen 9950X which is in very short supply. That's either a sign it's selling very well or AMD just didn't make enough of them. Discounted Ryzen 7950X CPUs have also been unbeatable values given Intel's struggles, while the 7900X 3D and 7950X 3D have mostly sold out as gamers struggle to get either the 7800X 3D or the 9800X 3D this fall. All right, let's talk about the new CPU launches in 2025. And of course, this is based both on information available from the companies themselves, along with published rumors. So take everything with a grain of salt. AMD is expected to announce new Ryzen CPUs at the Consumer Electronics Show, that's CES for short, on January 6th, along with their new GPUs, which we covered in our previous video, and I'll leave that link down in the video description if you wanna check it out. Rumors suggest that this will include higher core count variants of the Ryzen 9000 series CPUs, including the 9900X 3D and 9950X 3D. While many were hopeful these CPUs would feature vCache on both CCDs to avoid the switching issue which plagued the Ryzen 7950X 3D and 7900X 3D, Sadly, the rumors point to just one CCD having vCache, though it will be the next generation vCache which is below the CPU cores, and that does allow for better cooling and much higher clock frequencies. But that would mean that the 9800X 3D will probably maintain its gaming lead and certainly will from a price and performance standpoint. However, for production performance, it means these new Ryzen 9000 series X3D CPUs are gonna perform much closer to the 9950X and 9900X in terms of productivity. We also expect non-X variants of the Ryzen 9000 series CPUs like the Ryzen 9600, 9700, and 9900. 
In the Ryzen 7000 series generation, these non-X CPUs were essentially used to heavily discount the CPUs, as Ryzen 7000 was also saddled with a crazy high initial MSRP and they didn't sell well. I expect AMD is going to basically do the same for Ryzen 9000 series non-X3D CPUs. Whether the 9600, 9700, and 9900 non-X CPUs come with included coolers, as did the Ryzen 7000 non-X counterparts, remains to be seen. I'd expect performance of these non-X CPUs to basically mirror their X series CPUs as long as Precision Boost Overdrive is turned on. And at that performance level, they'll need a massive price cut to justify their existence up against Ryzen 7000 series CPUs with similar performance. We're also expecting AMD to launch B850 motherboards, which are the exact same chips as B650. The only minor change here is that motherboards that have both a PCIe Gen 5 GPU slot and a PCIe Gen 5 M.2 NVMe slot will not use the E at the name of the motherboard like B650E. It's all just B850 now. My view on PCIe Gen 5 GPU and M.2 NVMe slots is essentially unchanged. They just seem like costly features with no real world benefits, as even in RTX 4090, it runs just fine on PCIe Gen 3. So even with the arrival of PCIe Gen 5 GPUs, you will not need it. And there's zero gaming benefit to Gen 5 SSDs. We're also gonna see B840 motherboards, but those are really A-series motherboards in disguise. And as such, I will not be recommending them as we wanna use Precision Boost Overdrive to get the most out of our Ryzen CPUs, and the B840s just won't have it. Over on the Intel side, rumors and past history point to the launch of non-K Core Ultra 200 series CPUs to replace the Raptor Lake locked i5 and i7 parts like the 13400 and 14400. Leaks around the Core Ultra 5 225F point to a 10 core version with six performance cores and four efficiency cores operating at a significantly reduced boost and base frequency and a 65 watt TDP. These CPUs are gonna be locked, meaning no CPU overclocking is possible on them. We'll also likely see the release of B860 motherboards, which won't allow CPU overclocking, but should allow RAM overclocking, as has been the case for the last several generations. We'll also likely see locked versions of the Core Ultra 7 and Core Ultra 9 CPUs, but typically these are not great value parts and they mostly end up going to OEMs or pre-built manufacturers rather than the DIY PC market. Hopefully by then, Intel has released significant fixes for their Core Ultra 200 CPUs, which makes them more competitive with the Ryzen lineup in gaming, as those Core Ultra 225Fs are gonna go head to head with a $170 Ryzen 7600 already that outperforms it. NVIDIA, that's right, NVIDIA is also rumored to be releasing CPUs, though not necessarily to the DIY PC market. Leaks around NVIDIA's upcoming CPUs and APUs focus mostly on mobile, specifically laptop. NVIDIA is reportedly developing an ARM-based APU, so it includes powerful integrated graphics as well. For the release in the latter part of 2025 or possibly early 2026, the rumor suggests NVIDIA is really pushing hard to release this in the fall of 2025. NVIDIA is reportedly targeting Apple's M4, which is also an ARM-based CPU with powerful integrated graphics. However, Apple has a big challenge in that a lot of games do not run natively on Apple Silicon. Remember that Intel and AMD Ryzen CPUs in the consumer market are all on the tried and true x86 architecture, while ARM is closer to what powers tablets and phones along with Apple Silicon. Although Qualcomm currently has an exclusive deal with Microsoft to market ARM CPUs on Windows, this expires at the end of 2024, and we could see NVIDIA build on their very successful Hopper ARM CPUs produced in data center and bring that down to the laptop level. Of course, NVIDIA does face some big challenges with this as earlier in 2024, we saw how Qualcomm Snapdragon Elite X fared on Windows. While it was impressive in some categories, it fell down in gaming, where it relies on a translation layer between x86 and ARM, which just slows everything way down. We also saw that while Windows on ARM had massively improved from earlier versions, it still has a long way to go. NVIDIA does have the money, however, to make it work. While I haven't seen any suggestions that NVIDIA would also target the desktop market, it's hard to see why they would hold back from doing so in future years. So in 2026, maybe you'll be building a new gaming PC with an NVIDIA CPU. So let's play everyone's favorite game, should you buy now or should you wait? Well, I actually think that CPU prices and deals at the budget and the mid-range, they are incredible right now. The only real challenge here is actually finding a graphics card as virtually all of them are sold out 
and we've got new GPUs coming early next year. In particular, if you're on an older platform with a more modern GPU, and listen, man, we get these comments all the time that say, hey, I've got an i5-8600K and an RTX 4070, that's a huge CPU bottleneck, then I think it's a great time to upgrade, especially to a Ryzen 7600 build. If you just don't wanna wait up to two months for new GPUs to launch, and you can find a decent deal right now, then hey, it might be worth it. Check out our best builds for December, which I'll link down in the video description, where we had good 1440p builds for $650 and $1,000. Of course, waiting, it's also a good option in the mid-range and even the budget segment. But for high-end gamers out there, it's almost impossible to get the Ryzen 9800X 3D right now. I'll leave links to it at various retailers in the video description if you wanna see if it's back in stock. So you're essentially required to wait, especially with no high-end GPUs right now. The good news is that with improved Ryzen 9800X3D availability, possibly huge price cuts for Ryzen 9000 series non-X3D CPUs, continued falling prices for CPUs like the Ryzen 7600, and upcoming Intel fixes for their core Ultra 200 CPUs, not to mention new GPU launches that we covered in a previous video, 2025 is gonna have a lot of great options. Let me know down in the comments, where are you at in your CPU search? Did you grab a great deal? Are you waiting? Did you already upgrade earlier this year? If you got value out of this video, please give it a like so it really helps out, and of course subscribe for more cool PC content, like our look at the 2025 GPU launches from RTX 5 RX 8000 and beyond. Check it out right here and I'll catch you on the next one.